All right, now that you saw the new cap and rotor, I already got it on the car. Let me show you the old one. Put it back in the uh, in the box. Okay. When you guys see this, you, you people were telling me what were they telling me? They were telling me all kinds of shit. They were saying uh, check the compression for a blown head gasket or cracked cylinder. You guys are being so dramatic. Look at this. Let's see if we get this thing to zoom. I mean focus. Look at that. See the crust of shit that's built up on the terminal? No wonder this thing wouldn't fucking shoot. Spark run, run right, whatever it is. Let's see. Whatever, I'm sure it's focused once already and was disgusting. There you go. See how it's all black? They're all like that. All of them. And then, never, never mind the, the cover that was missing. I'm sure you guys saw the, the black cover that was on top of it. Let me show you the rotor. You guys are going to love this. This is the old rotor. That's the old cap. Let's see if I can get out of this box one-handed. Here it is. Look at it. All burnt. Absolutely disgusting. See that? Let's see the top. Yep. But you know what, guys? I should have replaced this shit to begin with, right when I bought the car. But, what can I say? I'm cheap and sloppy. So, I'll show you the guys, uh, Show you guys the video of it running. I'll post it up. But uh, if you got some ignition problems, idle problems, and uh, you got no record of changing the cap and rotor, just do it, man. It's not that hard. God knows what brand this is. This is probably China brand. Because the Bosch looked way nicer than this. But that's that. When in doubt, change your cap and rotor. Peace out.